How are you doing today, guys? Today we're looking at the C major scale. All right, that's exciting. And then just like the D major scale and uh, the future videos on these major scales and even more future minor scales, uh, we're also going to be looking at how we construct the C major chord out of the C major scale. So just like we discussed uh, before, a major scale is really a formula that tells you the distance between the notes within that scale. And the major scale formula is whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Okay, That's the major scale formula. And so what we're going to do is look to see how we construct um, the C major scale using this formula. So let's go ahead and change colors here. Um, uh, let's get something a little more bright. All right. And so uh, the, obviously the first note that we're going to start on is C. Now there's seven notes in the C major scale. We have the first note, second note, second, third note, fourth note, fifth note, sixth note, seventh note, and then it goes back to C. It goes back to um, the octave. Uh, and that's why it's called the octave. It's the eighth note. And so here we have C. And we're going to start, uh, let's start right here on C. All right. And then we're going to go a whole step up from uh, C to get to the second note. So we're going to go from C to C sharp, and that's a half step right there. Then we're going to go another half step up, and that's going to bring us to D. And so D is going to be our second note in the C major scale. And then from D, we're going to go another whole step, and uh, let's see where that brings us. So from D, we're going to come up to D sharp, which is a half step, and then we're going to go to E, uh, which is another half step. So a whole step up from D is going to be E. All right. Okay, and then from E, we're going to go another half step up, um, and that's going to bring us from E to F, because F is just a half step up from E. So, so far, we have C, D, E, F, and then we want to go a whole step up from F to get to that next note. So a whole step up from F is two half steps. So the first half step is to F sharp, and then we're going to go another half step to G. All right. So the fifth note in the C major scale is G. And then we're going to go another whole step up to get to the sixth note of the C major scale. So from G, we're going to go to G sharp, and then to A. So A is a whole step up from G. All right. And then um, we're going to go another whole step up to get to the seventh note of the C major scale. So from A, we're going to go up to B. All right, we passed over A sharp, and we went to B. All right. And then finally, to get back to C, we're going to go a half step up from B, as we can see right here. And then we're back to C. OK, so that is the C major scale. And uh, let's take a quick, brief look at how we get um, the C major chord, all right? Now, the C major chord is a triad. A triad is a chord consisting of three notes. And a C major triad consists of the note one, three, and five. So all we have to do is come over to this uh, C major scale here, and let's circle the first note the third note, and the fifth note, all right? And that's what that means, one, three, five. And so when we play C, E, and G simultaneously, we're going to get the C major chord. Because that's really what a chord is. A chord is playing uh, at, at least two notes simultaneously, and that gives us a chord. So one, three, five, C, E, G. C major is C, E, G. So when we play it on the keyboard, here's C, here's E, and here's G. We would play all three of those at the same time to get that C major chord. So that's going to conclude the C major uh, scale and chord video. And I look forward to um, looking into more scales and chords in the future. All right, guys.